Okay, hello Scorpio. This is going to be your twin flame reading for August. I'm sorry it has taken so long. I apologize. All right, let me actually, let me pause this and clear the energy because I just got done reading for Libra. Okay, so we are doing things a little bit different today. Um, actually, let me make sure none of my cards are in reverse. One second. Okay, sorry about that. Oops, I gotta turn my light back on. All right, um, is that too bright? No. Okay, so why does it feel like it's really bright? Did I? No, that's the brightest one. Okay, hold on one second. I have this sec on the second one. Okay, so we're going to do things a little bit different. I'm going to pull two cards for your energy, two cards for your person's energy, and then we're going to do a card for advice from spirit. And then we're going to pull some messages of love from your person from the message of love oracle deck. And we are going to end with the do, 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 getting into the vortex with Abraham Hicks. If you've been following me for a while, you know I'm obsessed with Abraham Hicks. So you should follow her. She is amazing. Or Esther Hicks. She channels for Abraham. But Esther and Jerry Hicks. Okay, so ooh, I'm going to shuffle one more time. Spirit is saying one more time. Scorpio, reading now for Scorpio. Scorpio, welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. And we already have Archangel Michael here. I've already cleansed your space and got rid of all of the energetic blocks. Let's dive right in. Scorpio, what do we have for Scorpio's energy? Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> Two cards for Scorpio's energy, please. And you know how I read. I only take the cards that fly out, right? Whoa, that one flew out. So two cards for Scorpio's energy. Let's get two cards for Scorpio's person's energy, please. Okay, wow. And let's see. And advice from spirit, please. For Scorpio. Damn, y'all. Quick, 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 quick. All the cards are face down. I have not flipped them over yet. You can't see that. So I guess you just have to trust me. First card that came out for you, Scorpio, is the sun. We don't even need to continue, right? The sun is the happiest card in the deck. So yes, Scorpio, if you're wondering, are you in alignment with your twin flame? Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. All right. Um, the next card is seven of swords. So you might be feeling like... <sighs> you might be feeling like your twin soul is being dishonest with you. There's some aspect of dishonesty going on. Um, but here's the thing. Your twin soul is a mirror of you. So you need to figure out where you're being dishonest with yourself. It's not just about your twin soul. It's also about you, right? They are your mirror. So whatever you don't like and that is going on in your reality where something feels not honest, you need to fix that within yourself. What's up, London? Hold on one second. All right, my little guy's in here. He likes being here when I work. So he's on his tablet being very quiet. All right, um, that's my son, London. He's six. Okay, so there's that. We're going to move. We're moving on. Um, your person's energy. We have the lovers and we have seven of wands. There's two sevens here, okay? I'm not sure what the significance of seven is, but it might be significant for you in some way, okay? I don't know. The lovers is number six, though, so... It's Gemini energy. That might mean something to you. I don't know whether it does or not. Um, but your person is feeling... Um, your person, first of all, they're very much in love with you, okay? There could be some kind of aspect of like a same-sex twin soul connection, that's going to resonate with some of you, not all of you. This is two females, okay? So take that how it resonates. Your person is feeling very smitten. They're feeling very Cupid's bow. I mean, look at There's the Cupid. Pull. Cupid has pulled back their bow. They're very much enamored with you. The rose represents love and passion, okay? At the same time, they feel like with the seven of wands, there is this feeling of like feeling like they have to defend something, okay? Um, having to defend their choice in love. 
and which is really odd i don't know why that's coming up but the lovers is about a choice and the seven of wands is about feeling defensive so for some reason they feel a lot of emotions for you they're desperately in love with you but they're feeling like they have to make other people understand why they feel the way they do and i don't know why your person would feel like this right so you have to ask yourself where are you feeling like you have to defend your choices in life because your twin is your mirror so there's an energy of wanting to explain to other people why they love you and this doesn't make any sense right you should never ever ever need outside validation from anyone your choices are your choices right this is your life nobody else is they're not gonna live it for you are they gonna do it with your person too <laughs> i mean i'm sorry but that's just the reality of the situation right you got the sun as your energy so you're feeling pretty happy and for pretty um at peace but yet there's this underlying energy of something feeling off so I'm not sure what that is. All right, we're going to go on to the advice from spirit. The advice from, from spirit is five of cups. It's disappointment. So the advice from spirit is this. Let go. <laughs> let go of whatever is not serving you right now, Scorpio. You are Scorpio, right? You rule death and transformation. Whatever is not working, let it go. Let, let it go. Let it die. Let it shrivel up and die. <laughs> Please please allow the transformation to happen okay whatever is not working let it not work let it go okay um there's three blessings that are being guarded by this vulture which vultures again represent death right vultures are death they eat dead things so um there's some blessings that are being blocked because you are not letting go of something. I don't know what that is. It's going to be different for all of you. But for God's sake, let it go. Let it go so that the vulture can fly away and the transformation can happen and the three blessings can be claimed because your person loves you. You love your person, okay? But there's something that doesn't feel right. You're being dishonest with how you feel, which in reflection makes them feel like they need to defend the fact that they love you. Does that make sense? All right. And you need to let go and let spirit just take over, right? You can't control the outcome. You can't control the outcome. You cannot control the outcome. When we try to control things, that's when things fall apart, Scorpio. Okay. All right, let's dive into messages from your person. What does Scorpio's person want them to know? Right? What does Scorpio's person want them to know? So, yes, let's recap. You're feeling pretty happy and at peace other than the fact that you're being dishonest with yourself about something or dishonest with your person about something. Maybe you haven't been quite clear about how you feel about them, right? They're in turn desperately in love with you and feeling the need to defend the fact that they love you, which nobody should ever have to do that, right? Or defend your guys' connection, you know? And Spirit is asking you to allow the transformation to happen, to trust in your journey, all right? We are in the middle of the 8-8 portal and Mercury's in retrograde and all the energies are nuts. So you just have to go with the flow. You just have to allow the feelings to be felt we cannot control what happens next right oh you got three cards okay so um i'm gonna flip them over because i don't flip them over till the end we have mistakes i wish i could right my wrongs your person is saying they realize they may not have made the best choices when it comes to you they're feeling like they want to go back in time right they want to go back and fix things all right, again, this is about letting go, allowing the journey to unfold the easiest way possible. Spirit knows the easiest way for the journey to unfold. You just have to trust it, Scorpio. All right, we have broken. I feel shattered about this situation. So look, your person is definitely in their feels. They are in love with you, okay? 
even though they feel like they have to defend, maybe they feel like they have to defend themselves. I don't know. Like the energy is of someone on the defense about this, but they're saying they wish they could write their mistakes. They're really broken up about it. Daydreaming is the last card we have from your person. I am always longing for you. They are always longing for you. No matter what it looks like in the 3D, in the 5D, you're always connected to your person. Please trust that. Please trust that because it's true. Please, please trust that your twin is never separated from you. You are one. You are one. Okay? They are always longing for you. Just as you long for them, they long for you. Okay? All right. Um, now, disclaimer. If you know that this is a karmic, this isn't for you. If you know that, that that's not your person... This reading will not resonate with you, right? We're talking about the soul connections, the twin soul connection, twin twin connection. Can we get the final message for Scorpio from the Abraham Hicks deck, please? It's really, oh, I was about to say it's really hard to get a card to fly out from here, but no, your energy is beautiful. Things are flowing well. Spirit loves you. All right, our diversity supports our individual freedoms. So I'm going to read the card for you. While your societies continue to try to dictate and enforce human behavior to please the majority, because of your diversity, it continues to be an uncomfortable struggle that again and again falls of its economic weight. There simply is not enough money in the world to buck the natural currents of individual freedom and independence of thought. Wow. So this is about being who you are, Scorpio, allowing your freak flag to fly. How do you expect your person to be comfortable being who they are if you're not comfortable being who you are, right? Allow yourself to be who you are. Maybe that's what that card was about. The card of like something feeling false, right? Do you know who you are, Scorpio? Do you know who you are at the core of your soul? Allow yourself to be who you are. It's time to throw off the mask. It's time to allow the transformation to happen. It's time. All right? Spirit is asking you to trust your journey and to trust mainly yourself. All right? I love you so much. If you want to book a reading with me, all of the information is going to be in the description box below. I love you, Scorpio. Mwah.